Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Achille. I am so excited to be with you all today as I share with you how to make the authentic Wille or Pomo. Yes, so, so I'm going to begin by sharpening my knife. You need a nice sharp knife. And for those of you that have been asking how I keep my knives sharp this is what i have been using and i'll leave a link to a similar one in the description box below so now that our knife is nicely sharpened let's get right into it now wele is simply cow skin and because i'm not in ghana i'm not able to get cow skin but i am able to get the skin of the cow foot that I get over here and I prefer the one that the hairs have already been singed off so this one looks cooked but it's not the hairs have just been burnt off but just in case you cannot come by the one with the hairs already burnt off don't worry you can use the regular type so all I'm doing is to take the skin of the bones and set it in my baking tray and I'll be using the broiler setting on my oven to quickly broil this because all I want is for these to curl up because the skins have already been burnt off or should I say the hairs have already been burnt off if you get the ones that the hairs have not already been burnt off you may want to put it very close to your broiler so it'll burn it for you or you can do it right on your stove top, which could be a bit messy, but it's still the best way to go. When buying the original Wele, there is no meat or whatsoever in it. But because this is homemade, you may find some with meat. It is totally up to you to leave the meat on or to take it off completely. All right, now does Wele have any nutritional values? Absolutely. Wele is very high in collagen, a type of protein that helps hold the bone and skin tissue in place. So you see, <laughs> Wille is a win-win situation. Not only is it delicious, it does have nutritional values. And please, once done, do not get rid of the bones. We can use it in making beef stock. All right, now that all the skin is off, under the broiler, it goes right here i have the one that's commonly found in most supermarkets and i wanted to share how you can use that as well okay so just like the first type you're gonna go ahead and take the skin off and we're going to put it under the broiler now when buying this you want to inspect it to ensure that there are no hairs on it but should you find some you can singe it right on your stove top which can be a bit messy but that's the only choice you have this one was quite clean so i'm just going to put it under the broiler as well but i'm making this one first so that we can compare the two side by side so this was 10 minutes after it was under the broiler and i brought it out i'm just flipping it over and then back under the broiler it'll go now if you don't have a broiler setting in your oven just put your oven to maybe 450 degrees fahrenheit and bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes remember we're not trying to cook this we're just trying to curl it up to give it that signature willy look so after an additional 10 minutes under the broiler, it is perfect. It is ready. So the next step is for us to boil it quickly. So we're just going to boil it for about 10 minutes and then we'll turn the fire off and allow it to cool completely. Once that is done, we'll transfer it into some fresh water okay so this is 10 minutes of boiling you can see it is beginning to loosen up it's not hard and it's like a bit fluffy so i'll allow this to cool completely which took about two hours and now i'm going to go ahead and transfer it into fresh cold water and we'll keep it in this water for 24 to 48 hours and that is the secret in wille making the wille absorbs the water 
and causes it to become grew grew when chewing so this is not cooked at all but the process is a sort of cooking and not cooking <laughs> but in ghana they literally put it in flaming fire to burn off all the hairs before boiling and then they scrape off any burnt areas for us to get that beautiful golden kalawili that we also love but this is the step that we're missing if you buy willy abroad this is all you need to do is to soak it all right first cook it to curl up and then soak it so this is the second type that i made the one that the skins was not already burnt off and i want to put the first one next to it this is what it looks like when it first comes out from under the broiler i also used goat meat which mm, don't use that <laughs> so that's the one in the middle right here and this is the one that i made originally with the uh, cow foot that the skin have been burnt off a bit all right so you can see the difference this one have been in the water now for 48 hours and it tastes and feels just like willy it has that grew grew texture okay and that is the process all right the people that sell it however they keep it in the water every night after sales to keep it from going bad and the longer you keep it out without refrigerating it'll begin to ferment a bit thereby giving you that fermented taste so you can keep it in your water for longer than 48 hours but i like the taste and texture that this brought for me so here's a lineup of all the willy that i made the goat skin willy and the cow skin willy which one do i prefer the cow skin hands down the goat meat is so strong that the flavor remained but the cow skin you can taste the cow you can just taste the willy and you get to season and spice it up to your own taste okay i then bag it up you know in portion sizes and i'm going to put it in my freezer for when i need it so yeah we made wele you don't have to worry and carry it all the way from ghana anymore you can make it yourself trust me you will love it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team y'all know i love you until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all